Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it's gonna be a relaxed video. Oh, I just put this on the wrong way. Uh, because, first of all, it's Saturday. Second of all, um, I got word that the annual Pat McGrath fall sale has started and I look for any excuse to talk about and use Pat McGrath in a video. And so in celebration of the sale and in excitement and anticipation, I was like, we need to do a get ready with me. So details of the sale, it is 30% off site-wide. There are some exclusions like the Celestial Odyssey collection that just came out for the holidays. None of those items are on sale. So if you did wanna pick up items from the Celestial Odyssey collection, I would suggest waiting until the Sephora VIB sale, which is starting next week. But unless you are getting items from the Celestial Odyssey collection, I do recommend not buying any Pat McGrath from the Sephora sale and picking it up during this fall sale because a 30% off is the best deal that you're gonna get from Pat McGrath unless they're putting items on like clearance, like they're getting rid of them forever. But the permanent line stuff, you're not gonna get a better deal on. Particularly if you're not Sephora Rouge, which is 20%. If you're a VIB or an insider, that's only 10, 15 off. So 30% off for everybody is awesome. And don't hold me on this because sometimes they take this off when people figure it out but if you use the code obsess10 at checkout that will take an additional 10% off you can stack that 30 and that 10% off sometimes they take it off but um you heard it here first so if it's still working make sure you use it before they figure it out and this sale is even better than normal because normally she will do like 25% off site wide but when she does like the big 30 normally it's like $150 to get the 30% off and then a hundred like a hundred dollars to get 20 it's usually tiered there's no minimum to get the 30 percent off so yeah really good sale i suggest if there's anything that you want from pat mcgrath now's the time it's the best deal if you're planning on getting gifts for anybody now's the time i'm actually going to pick up some stuff from the site for giveaways for you guys for the holidays because I can't get a better deal. So I'm just gonna be using a full face of Pat McGrath, whatever I can. Particularly what I'm excited about and what I would recommend the most for this is the Hutopian Dream Mothership Palette because this has not been on sale yet. This is the cheapest it's ever been. Because it is a fairly new palette, this wasn't included in the most recent sale. So this is the first time this is on sale and it's gonna be like $88, which I'm not saying that's cheap, but that's the best deal you can get. And then also, I don't know if this is the first time, but the blushes are fairly new. So these are going to be 30% off. I believe the last sale they were excluded, but they are included this time. Okay, anyways, let's apply the products. So I put out my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Honestly, I don't really recommend that you pick this up for the sale. It's not my favorite primer really. <laughs> this is not something that I think is worth it. It's also been, I think, on sale for like 50% off before. So I'm just using it because I have it and I'm trying to use it up. And since I'm using a full face of Pat McGrath, I'd love to see her come out with another primer, something that's a little bit more hydrating or more smoothing, something that's more effective because I feel like this doesn't do anything. <laughs> so I don't recommend that. But I do definitely recommend, especially if you're already a fan or you've been curious, the Pat McGrath Labs Foundation. I use the shade LM9. So this is a $68 foundation, and it was quite controversial when it came out just because it was so expensive. And this is a lighter weight foundation, you know, it doesn't give you full coverage. And I think people thought, you know, since this is a $70 foundation, it needs to give you full coverage. But no, I think the trends in makeup have shifted since this foundation has come out because it really is truly just a lightweight comfortable foundation and it's super skin like it gives you about like a medium coverage and you can build it up but it's not going to get anywhere near full coverage with this sale it is $47 that's the deal you're gonna get on this foundation and I have from the beginning thought this foundation was worth it I like full coverage but I definitely have always loved a more medium coverage. This is just so lightweight on the skin. It feels like it's nothing. It literally is the consistency of water, but it leaves such a skin-like beautiful finish to the skin. It's one of my favorite everyday foundations. But yeah, $70, I mean, that's a lot for a foundation. So if you've been wanting this foundation, $47 is the best deal you're 
probably going to get on this. So I love this foundation and I've always stood by it despite people not really liking it or thinking it was worth it. I've always just liked how lightweight and natural this looked on the skin. I'm actually going to turn the lights down just a little bit so you can see the colors better. Must have in my opinion from Pat McGrath. Besides her eyeshadows, this is one of my favorite products that you can pick up from the line. It's her concealers. I have three shades for a reason because they're that good. I use the shade LM9 for my under eyes and then LM12 for spot concealing. With the sale, this is 22 bucks. And this is one of my all time favorite, favorite concealers. So $22, if you ask me, is a very, very good price. It just, it wears so well. It doesn't really get too creasy under my eyes and it gives a really nice amount of coverage. It doesn't have really much relation to the foundation, if you ask me. I know it's a skin system and you're supposed to wear the foundation, the concealer, and the powder together. But to be quite honest, the concealer is much thicker than the foundation, so it seems odd. They look good together, but they don't feel the same in that way. They do look good though, and I just love this concealer. It looks so natural under the eyes. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't sink into fine lines like a lot of other concealers. I'm not saying it's not going to sink into fine lines. I mean, if you got them, you got them. But this one is definitely less noticeable. It's more hydrating and flattering to the under eye. It's beautiful as a spot concealer and sometimes I'll even use this as just a quick foundation just to get the red areas and spread it out. There's something really, really special about this concealer. It's my top two concealers. This and Too Faced Born This Way are my favorite, favorite concealers of all time. So, I mean, I've sung my praises plenty of times before about this. I mean, if you watch all of my Pat McGrath videos, this should not be news to you. Okay, and then my favorite powder from Pat McGrath that I recommend, she has a loose powder. It's fine, but you need to, need to, need to try the Sublime Perfection Under Eye Powder if you have haven't. Okay, so the downside of this is it literally will turn to dust. What I mean by that is that it will break super easy. It is very, very fragile. It works so good that I continue to buy them even after they break. I have the light, I have the medium. I have not come across a more blurring or smoothing powder. You can see zero pores. It is in incredible. I definitely recommend this over the loose powder. I want her to come out with this in a bigger compact because I use it as an all over setting powder, not just an under eye setting powder. Again, a must have. I mean, her foundation, her concealer, and this leaves the most perfect natural looking base. I'm obsessed. Okay, let me quickly do my eyebrows. Pat McGrath doesn't have any eyebrows or bronzer, so I'm using my e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette, and then I'm also going to use my Ilia Drawn In Nightlight Bronzing Powder. This is an incredible bronzer, by the way. I'm gonna put this in my Sephora recommendations video because it's that good. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. This I look no. I'm pretty sure I've done an eye look like this before, but when it comes to the Hutopian Dream palette, I can't use any other shade besides the purple glittery shade, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like I said, I talked about this in the beginning. I'm using the Pat McGrath Hutopian Dream palette. This is the most recent Mothership palette to have come out, and if there's a palette that you need to get during the sale, I'm not saying it needs to be this one, but it needs to be a Mothership palette because those are her big ones. These are the best ones. I love all of her other palettes. Don't get me wrong, any palette from Pat, it's always amazing to me, but the motherships in particular are going to have the most valuable, unique, glittery formulations. So I am using the Utopian Dream because this is the first time it's on sale. And I know a lot of you guys told me you are waiting to pick up this palette while it's on sale. So this is the cheapest it's going to be. And I love this one. I think it's gorgeous. If you want to pick this one up and are looking for a second one to pick up that might be very different than this, I recommend the very first Pat McGrath palette because it's very, very, different than this one. It is all cool toned. It's a little bit more wearable. So this one and the subliminal, I actually just ran and pulled it out for you guys. This is the first launch of Motherships from Pat McGrath, but these two are very, very different. So you're not going to get any dupes and believe it or not, you could definitely mix and match with these two palettes. Yeah, but any Mothership that your heart desires, this is the time to do it. I have a rankings from last year that you can check out, but you can't go wrong with 
anything. If you're curious about anything from the brand, I've probably covered it. Search my name and then the item that you're looking for and a review will most likely come up. I'm gonna show you how I got this look. It's very, very easy. We're gonna start off with this shade right here. I'm using a BK Beauty 202 brush. Pat McGrath does have a few brushes, but honestly, yeah, they're not my favorite. They're just not worth it in my opinion. I would stick to BK Beauty is really nice, Refer, Esum, the usual brands that I talk about on my channel because I just feel like they have the best brushes. And I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line and I'm really gonna blow out the outer corner of my lower lash line. Like I'm not afraid for this to go really low because I want to bleed it out into the blush. This look is a little bit messier. So I'm going out of my comfort zone a little bit. I like a nice clean makeup look, so. But I thought, you see, I have a lot of glitter in this look. And we're gonna deepen with the dark brown shade. And this has a rosy tone to it, so it's not like a true neutral brown. But I'm gonna take this along my crease, you see, and then I'm gonna bring it all the way to the bridge of my nose. Almost like you were going to contour your nose. Well, I guess I kind of am at this point. And then bring it all the way out. Just go a little bit ham with it. I'm not keeping it low. You can see I'm keeping it very high. And then I'm also gonna take that and again, really be messy with it. Blend it out down here. And bring it in as my brush gets clean. And then we'll be back with this shade. I am very, very slowly blending this step. By the way, this is gonna be $88 compared to the original 125. It's a really good saving. I'm also going to use the Intensifies Artistry Wand, which I believe you can also get. I couldn't find it on the site, but I also wasn't looking, looking that hard. So this is like a mixing medium in a stick form, and I'm putting this everywhere. This is a great base for any shimmer. It doesn't need to be just from a Pat McGrath palette, but I do recommend using this when you're using the glittery shades from the palettes, just because you'll get less fallout. It's a little less messy, but of course I had to use this color. It's my favorite color in this palette and I'm popping it right on top of the glue or whatever, the mixing medium. And then I'm being messy with it and I'm blending it out. Whatever's left on my finger, I'm putting it out here. So we're getting a little glittery with it. Have fun with it. What's great about this glitter is you can see, it's not the most opaque. It's about when it hits the light. So there is a base to it, but it's more so about just the glimmeriness of it. So you have room to just bring it out to get a little bit of extra glimmer when you turn your face and it doesn't look crazy. I mean it does but in the best way possible. It's super duper pretty you guys. We want it to be a little bit messy. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to use a refer number one brush and I'm going to go back into the dark shade and we're going to put a little bit more depth in this outer corner here. Almost blending it in with the glitter that I pushed out with my finger. So it's really seamless. That's what we're going for. It can be messy, but it just needs to have that seamless blend to it. Also gonna take a little bit more just to get more depth up here. How many variations of looks can I do with this purple color all over my lid? Because all I ever wanna do is just put it all over my lips. Okay, next up, this shade is also really gorgeous all over the lid, but I'm gonna use it as an inner corner color just right here. This is gonna brighten up the eye. It has a very strong gold shift, but these shades right here are what make Pat McGrath so special and worth the price. This finish, it's just everything. So finally, I'm gonna take an angled brush. This is just a random one that I had from ColourPop. I'm gonna go into the darkest color, which isn't that dark, but it's keeping the look really cohesive. And I'm just going to create a shadow wing. I'm not using any mixing medium or anything. And I wanna keep it very, very thin along the lash line. And then I'm going to elongate the eye by bringing the shadow to the inner corner just to elongate and it might look a little odd now but i promise with lashes and everything it's going to fully come together um i'm gonna take a little bit of a black liner now i saw this is sold out on the website but i do like her pencil liner this is called the perma gel ultra glide eye pencil it's only available in navy and a brown color that i saw they're good but I don't think it's a need for the sale. What I do really like eyeliner wise is the liquid liner, but come close and listen to me when I say this. 
this. Never buy her liquid liner at full price. Ever, ever, ever. Because they're amazing while well, they're fresh and new, but they dry out so quickly. So while I have it, I love her liner, but they dry out just too quick. So quick that I don't even have one right now because mine dried out. So just keep that in mind. But I do want to use just a black pencil and I'm tight lining. So that way we can add a little extra depth to the look. And then if you want, you can even try and work it in between the lashes. So instead of just getting the tight line area, get it in between the lashes. I need to get closer to my mirror to do this though. And then I did get a little bit of black along my lash line. I'm just gonna take that original brush that I use, just kind of soften it and blend it in. We're gonna just continue with the eyes. I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Anytime there's a sale, I stock up on the Fetish Eyes Mascara. I don't wanna open up a new one right now because I'm trying to use this one up, but the Fetish Eyes Mascara is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I highly recommend it. A lot of people like this Dark Star better, so it just depends, but if you have short, sparse lashes, I recommend Fetish Eyes. One thing though, is it does flake. So if you can't stand a flaky mascara, don't pick it up. But I feel like there's no other mascara that gives me volume, lengthens, and multiplies my lashes. So I do recommend that mascara while you can get it on sale. I'm gonna use Dark Star because it's all I have open right now. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and then we'll finish the face. Okay, lashes are on. Makeup on the eyes looks amazing. I'm gonna finish off with cheeks and lips. Another item that I was obviously very excited to see on this discount are the Divine Blushes. So I thought Flirtatious would be the perfect color for this look. Divine Rose is a great everyday rose color that I recommend. And then my most used shade, which is like a very warm orange, but it's super flattering. I normally don't like warm blushes on myself, but Desert Orchid is my all-time favorite blush in this collection. I highly recommend that one. Flirtatious is also just like the perfect muted kind of mauve blush. I love the formula of these for sure. They're beautiful, but I mean, individually, these blushes are very, very pricey. So definitely at this discount, stock up if there's any that you've been wanting because it is an incredible formula. It's just expensive. And it feels expensive with application, if you ask me. Uh, the longevity on these is really nice, so I'm happy that these are finally on sale. Super pretty, and I'm actually gonna take a little bit extra, kind of push it into the eye look. We want it to be a part of this look. Just to make it really cohesive, just a little bit right here on the nose. Gorgeous. So Flirtatious was perfect for this. And then I also wanted to use the Divine Glow Highlight. This also is a first timer on sale and it is beautiful. Now Pat McGrath did just come out with the holiday highlighter. That one is $60. That highlight, incredible. I honestly prefer that one over the Divine Glow, but the Divine Glow, I recommend over the $60 one because I don't recommend that you spend $60 on a highlight. This is more of a realistic price and it's so beautiful. But yeah, I haven't asked. I do like this $60 highlight that just came out more than this, but that takes away nothing from how amazing this is. This one's a better value. It's definitely more worth the price if you ask me. Stunning. I mean, you guys can see this on camera. Really excited that this one is on sale as well. I felt like with Pat McGrath highlights before these two most recent ones, I haven't really liked her highlights very much, but since she came out with this and the holiday one for this year, incredible, incredible highlights. Okay, finally, lips. Lips is another category that Pat McGrath is amazing in. I love all of the formulas, but the lip liner is definitely one of my most used brands. So I'm gonna use Done On Done. The most used colors for me are Done On Done and Contour. Those are two staple lip liner colors, but these are amazing because they're so soft and creamy. They just glide on the lips, but they last forever. This is probably the longest lasting lip liner in my collection. So yeah, I always stock up on lip liners during sales because they're amazing and I'm slowly working my way to having every color. So you'll see Done on Done is kind of like my lip color, but better. It's just pinky. Contour, which is the other one that I really love, is more brownie. So that one is more of like a 
contour shade. Wow, this really needs sharpened. I'm literally scraping my lip, but I'm too lazy to sharpen it. Lipsticks, I would say, are something that you probably could pass on this sale. They normally do like lip products for $10 each or something crazy like that later on in the year or the beginning of the year. I think it's been also like a Black Friday deal in the past. So I would hold off on the lipsticks anyways, just because I love her formula. I much prefer like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't know. I love the Pat lipsticks, but I wouldn't pay full price for them. And I would wait because there's normally a better sale, but I'm going to use Dream Lover. Pretty. And then I did want to use a lip gloss and the lip glosses are worth it on this sale. This is actually not this particular color, but Pat McGrath has like my all time favorite lip gloss formula. This and Fenty are definitely up there for me, but again, this is also a part of those like $10 crazy deal sales. So I would almost say to wait because you might be able to get this for a better deal. Uh, but the lip gloss formulas are worth it, period. And if you are dying to get lip glosses, I mean, they're even worth this 30% off price. They're worth full price. That's how good they are. But I'm using the shade Peach Perversion. But I mean, point being, long story short, pick these up at some point. But there normally is a lip sale that is better later on in the year. But if you need to know, my number one most used lip gloss from Pat McGrath is Dare to Bear or Faux Real. Those are nude, nude, nude lip glosses, but they're my most used colors. Mm. They're so good. Okay, let's take these out. Not having the best hair day, so let's pretend that my hair looks better. Okay, I mean, yet again, another flawless Pat McGrath look. I love this. Even though I've done a variation of this eye a billion times, there still is something special about it. I mean, I'm not sick of it yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed sitting around, chilling, getting ready with me, using my favorite makeup brand of all time to create, once again, just a perfect flawless look. Always really excited when this sale comes around. It's the best deal for Pat McGrath. Yeah, if you have any questions, I, I'm posting this Sunday morning, which is right now, <laughs> if you're watching this as I just posted. So I'm sitting down to answer questions. So if you have any, put them in the comment box. I'll at least be here for probably the first hour to help you out. And if you are interested in shopping this sale, make sure you shop through my link down below. I do earn a small commission. And, you know, if you want to help me out, <laughs> click on it and shop through that. And don't forget, use the code OBSESSED10 at checkout. See if it'll give you that extra discount. And I'm going to leave that here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Wow, I just realized my lip lining job was kind of janky. I swear I know how to do makeup. Just make sure you uh, sharpen your lip pencils, unlike me.